So you live in Nevada and want nothing more than to go to college in Hawaii. How can you make that happen at a reduced tuition rate without establishing residency in Hawaii? You can access the Western Undergraduate Exchange Program. This kind of tuition reciprocity program is available regionally with different exchanges all over the country. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is how to make tuition reciprocity work for you. Tuition reciprocity programs are designed to allow students to attend college in different states at reduced tuition rates. Generally, tuition savings bring your bill much closer to the in-state rate, which can save thousands of dollars. The funding works much like a scholarship that is applied to your bill. These programs have a variety of restrictions and qualification standards, but if you are eligible and complete the process, you can study at an amazing school. Now there are four larger exchanges and a number of smaller reciprocity agreements available. So to find out what will work best for you, talk to your high school counselor and do some research. Not all schools in the state participate, so make sure you know what the program has to offer before you move forward with your applications. The four regional programs are the Western Undergraduate Exchange, which includes Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, Hawaii, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, New Mexico, North Dakota, South Dakota, Oregon, Utah, Washington, Wyoming, and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. This exchange works with more than 160 public two-year and four-year colleges. The New England Regional Student Program services Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. This exchange works with more than 80 community and four-year colleges for those trying to earn their associate, bachelor's, or graduate degrees. Within this exchange, strong emphasis is put on helping students access academic programs that are not available in their home state. The third exchange is called the Academic Common Market. The states of Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, West Virginia, and Virginia work together to offer student opportunities. In this exchange, generally, home state tuition is offered for participation in a major that is not offered in your state of residency. This exchange only covers bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees. As with many of these exchanges, not all of the universities in the state participate. The last of the four big exchanges is the Midwest Student Exchange Program, which services two-year and four-year colleges. The states covered by this exchange include Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, and Wisconsin. This exchange includes public and private schools. A link to the websites of each of these exchanges is located on our website. You can access that site through the link in the description of this video. Take your time as you review the websites for each of these exchanges to make sure you know how these programs will impact your college search. If you have any questions, contact the organization and ask for clarification. Beyond the four larger exchanges, many, many states have individual one-on-one -on -one exchanges or agreements with just a few states. Check your state's Department of Education website to see if there are any reciprocity arrangements that will help you save tuition costs. Across the board, the exchange slots can be very competitive. Your academic record and GPA will be reviewed. Your major can also impact your participation in an exchange. You must remain in good standing with the school throughout your time in that college. Some schools or exchanges require that you re-enroll on an annual basis. It should be noted that if you attend a college through an exchange for a specific major and then decide to switch your academic program, you may lose your tuition cost savings. To be selected for an exchange, the first step is to apply to your chosen college and note on the application that you would like to participate in the appropriate exchange. And for some exchanges or colleges, you must have completed the FAFSA. Work with the schools and academic programs that interest you to determine if there is a tuition reciprocity program that will apply to your college plans. Ask your high school counselor, ask the college admissions representative, and consult online resources to allow yourself to understand the benefits which could apply to you. Be sure you understand if the exchange will support the degree you wish to achieve. Will it support transfer students? Do you need to reapply every year? Do you have to file your FAFSA to be eligible? Will the program cover the community college, college, or graduate degree you wish to pursue? How much tuition relief will you receive if you qualify? 
With any of these exchange programs, you must pay attention to the details. So if you are a resident of Nevada and want to attend school in Hawaii at a reduced tuition rate, it is possible through tuition reciprocity exchanges. Do the research, do the work, save your money for travel, and then get busy with your application. Tuition reciprocity exchanges are a great way for you to save money while attending an out-of-state college. Take advantage of these programs. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear what you are thinking.